my fourth trip to Haiti. I love coming to Haiti because I love the people and I love how open and honest they are. I come back with more than I ever bring down here. So I think I get more out of it than they do. The highlight for me has been uh, just having not only my kids along, but the other teenagers too. They definitely do a lot of the fun and upfront work, the skits and the drimes and the, and the playing with the kids, and they've done a great job, and it has been a lot of fun. And I'm so thankful that we've had the chance to come with our kids on a missions trip. And um, I'm very thankful for them to get to learn to love people in developing countries and to feel comfortable and at home here. So thank you. Just seeing everybody here um, in their state of poverty that I've never seen in my life before. There's been a change in my mind of what I expected them to be versus what I've seen them as. I expect them to kind of be as reserved and but they're so joyful. They're like in church, they're singing so loud and they're just clapping away. And it's just something I don't always see at my church in Canada is these people singing, you know, singing their hearts out. Um, and I think that was a, a big thing for me was seeing them being so happy about what, they're, what they believe. Friday, a week before we were about to leave, and I get a text saying one of the ladies wasn't coming. Now we can bring a technician. And I went, yeah, yeah, right. As if I'm going to find a technician who's available, who wants to come. Like I'm thinking this is impossible because I'm so nervous about coming down here and being expected to put a clinic together that I had no idea because it's not what I do. Thinking about this one, how, how, how's this going to happen? And I just sort of said, okay, God, you want me to bring someone? You arrange it. All I'm going to do is just go and ask people. And I saw Dale and Lewis standing there talking, and I went up to him going, Hey guys, anybody want to come to Haiti next week with us? Because we need a technician. And Lewis looks at me and goes, I was kind of thinking you're doing a missions trip. And I thought, he's the guy. And I just knew right away that he's the guy. Hi, my name is Lewis, and uh, I, uh, I was asked to by Laura uh, to come and help with uh, installing some of the dental equipment. And uh, when uh, we came here, we could see that there was a fair bit of equipment that was ready to be installed. Just need a little bit of attention. We came as a, a team, so there's me and there's Laura that is around, and then Lewis who's been helping us fix all the equipment here and make everything work, and it's been fantastic. Uh, this is my third visit here. The first two we struggle with a lot of equipment issues. So like this trip has been fantastic equip equipment wise. Everything works. And when it doesn't work, we just have to yell Lewis and then he comes running and he fixes everything. So we see a lot of patients that have like very large cavities here. A lot of them on their front teeth and we try to save them as much as possible. But this little boy today we're going to remove a tooth because he has a really bad toothache. I'd say all of the patients are very brave. You can see their suffering and then they just brave too. Like we can have them on the chair with their mouth open for two hours and they won't budge. Mission trips have always been on my heart. Timing has never always been in my favor. The first time I went to Haiti, I kept hesitating and trying to find reasons not to go. And every time I prayed, I could hear God telling me, oh no, you're going. And I went. I would definitely encourage people to go. I wouldn't let anything stand in the way. If it's on their heart and they're meant to go, it's going to happen. Coming on a mission trip is a really good experience to see just how different the, like every, every place in the world is and how much poverty there is and how much we need to try to help and change the world and spread the word of Jesus. You'll learn how to clap really loud, which is fun. Yeah. <laughs> and you'll meet so many new people, and I, you'll fall in love with this country. It's about the people, you know. You you make connections uh, with the people that uh, that are here, and uh, actually, you also make really good connections with. Uh, uh, the people from um, the Baptist Church, which uh, other than Laura I hadn't met, they've been really great. They've welcomed me with open arms. I, I'm very appreciative. It really uh, says something about the, the, how wonderful these people are. I was supposed to go to Afri Africa on a missions trip, but I chose this one, but I still didn't know why I chose this one. It was only when I, I think we were on our way here, that I went, <gasps> God wanted me to bring Lewis. So that's why I think I'm here is I had to bring Lewis with me.
This is my third time leading a team to Haiti, and one of the things I really enjoy is seeing how different people get to use their gifts in different ways, and everyone feels like they're contributing. Uh, so today I got to ask one of our teenage girls on the team if she would close uh, the time in prayer and to give thanks for the food that the kids were going to eat. And it was just fantastic just to see her praying in English, but through a translator, and these kids just following her lead, and uh, that's exciting. Um, also, I wear another hat as a dad on the team, and so my wife and I have brought our kids along, and you see your own kids having an opportunity to see the world through a different lens. Um, they're as excited to come to Haiti as they were to go to Palm Springs last year. So, you know, if you're going to invest money and take a trip, why not consider going on a missions trip? Because when you see your kids starting to get it, the heart for Christ, for poor people or the people in the world that need to know, um, nothing excites your heart as a parent more than seeing your kids actually tune into the Lord in that kind of a way. Hello, Sardis Fellowship. Uh, uh, thank you so much for uh, sending uh, the team down to help us. Uh, it has, has been amazing to be with you guys in Canada. Uh, um, and now we are sitting down and just watch a soccer game that they put on. And uh, we all can say like a uh, uh, cherry on for our team. Thank you so much for all you have done for us. Uh, um, uh, so much you put uh, out uh, in Haiti for the people here and help uh, with money for the domes and everything. You guys are so great. And uh, thank you so much for all.